What's up, everyone? This is Nate, and I'm back with another Out of the Theater review. This week, I went and checked out a couple of movies, but the one I'm going to be doing a review for is the latest in the Saw franchise. This is, of course, called Saw X10. However you want to say it, it just, just say X on there. But I'm going to go ahead and give you my thoughts on this and a little bit on the franchise in general. Before I do, if you would, please consider subscribing to the channel. That way you can get all of our content. Hit the bell notification. That way you are notified when we drop new videos, whether it's unboxings or 4K reviews or, of course, out of the theater reviews, rankings. If you're into those sort of things, please consider subscribing. Also, give me a thumbs up down below. If you are a fan of the Saw franchise... Let me know in the comments, which one do you like? Which one is your favorite? Or do you hate all of them? Okay, so I went into this one kind of, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. I like the Saw franchise in general. I know some people don't like it that much. I get it. You know, I don't think it's like a beacon of quality, but I do love the, I love the first three movies. I think it's a really good trilogy. And then after that, it's hit or miss with probably more misses than hits, to be honest. But overall, I like the franchise. It always reminds me of one of those cop shows on TV, like a gritty cop show, because it's always about these it's just people that are in these traps and stuff. But there's always some cop who's trying to, like, solve it or find the people before it happens. And, you know, it has a formula, even all the way to spiral. So it's freaking literally what it's about. Chris Rock, he's a cop. He's trying to solve it. That's what it is. So with this one, I was looking forward to it. Now, this one's directed by Kevin Grudert. He directed another one. I want to say he directed five five or six, one of them. So this is not his first, uh, maybe more than one. This is not his first Saw movie. He is a veteran of the franchise. I got to be honest, I liked it. I liked it. There's a couple of things. I do have positives and negatives. I don't think it's a perfect film or anything like that, but I did end up enjoying this one. Um, first of all, as far as the positives, I do like that they went away from the, that formula. So this one does not have any cop characters at all. There is no cop trying to, solve the you know get his way into there and rescue people or catch jigsaw this movie set between saw one and saw two so it's actually a prequel in that way but it's just set during that period and there is no cop character so that's a little different this one the storyline in general was pretty different and i actually liked it while you still have the kind of traditional saw elements the traps the gore this one's gory for sure you know you have all that stuff the difference here is in the storyline. Because you don't have that police element, there's none of that at all. Also, Tobin Bell as John Kramer, Jigsaw, a way bigger role in this movie than he's had in any of the other movies. And I think it's kind of weird that 10 movies in is when they finally decided to like have him be a main character. You think about the first movie, you know, he's behind the scenes, he's talking on the tapes, there's little things here. And he's just laying on the floor, right? In the second movie... He's a little, you know, it's the same thing. He's like behind the scenes or trying to catch him. But he's not like the main character of the movie. He is the main character of this movie. So that was pretty neat. You know, you, he's on screen for probably 85% of this movie. Maybe more, maybe 90%. Like he is constantly on screen. The storyline all revolves around him. The people in the traps all revolve around him. So I kind of like that. I thought that was cool. It was cool to see Shawnee Smith back as Amanda, but uh, I do have a negative about that whole thing. So I'll get to that in a second. The traps, pretty good. There's two of them that I really liked. I won't spoil it, but there's two of them that I really enjoyed. Really gore, like the really gory. There's a lot of gore in this movie. It's great to see some gore back in the theater. It doesn't happen that often anymore. I feel like these kind of movies are not as prevalent. Horror movies with like crazy gore. I mean, I, there's one in... Every, like Terrifier 2 or whatever, every once in a while. But in general, they're not that common anymore. So that was a lot of fun to just see some blood and guts. Also, I thought the acting was okay. It was pretty good for a Saw movie. And they toned down some of the editing that they normally do. It's still there a little bit, but it's not like as crazy. So as far as the negatives go, so I just said it was cool to see, see Shawnee Smith back. Here's my problem. This is set between one and two. And that Saw 2 came out in like 2005, I believe. Because I think Saw 1 was 2004. So that is 18 years ago. And she looks 18 years older. But she's supposed to be the same age. They do makeup. They have her little wig. No amount of makeup. Unless they went in and did like digital de which they didn't. They don't have the budget. She. It's weird to see her and John Kramer looking so much older, but supposed to be the age that they were in the other one. 
So it was a little distra- distracting for me. I was like, I don't know. She looks, no, nah, she's a great actress and I've got nothing wrong with the performance. It was fine. You do have to just sort of though, let that go because if you constantly think about it, it'll be annoying. Eventually I was just like, whatever, it is what it is. I'll just take it as it goes. But so that was a little jarring. Also, yeah, I mean, it is a Saw movie. You know that the end part of it, the ending, you know that, so- that he's gonna make it because he is in Saw 2 and 3. So it's like when there's something that happens, and he might be, you know, you think, uh oh, is this gonna be? You know, it's kind of not gonna be. Also, I didn't love the very end of it. It wasn't my favorite ending. It was okay, but there is a credit scene that was pretty cool. So stay for the mid credits. There's a pretty cool credit scene. Overall, though, I enjoyed this movie. I thought it was a solid Saw film. It's not like the greatest, but I would put it probably in the upper half of the Saw movies, honestly, of the 10. It's easily top five already. I'm, I'm not even lying. It's 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 really solid. I'm gonna give it a seven. Seven out of ten. I thought it was good. I had a good time at the theater. So anyway, that's my take on it. I will be back next week with another out of the theater review, and I will be reviewing The Exorcist Believer. Until then, take it easy.